Welcome to the channel. Let's talk about Honeybane. So Honeybane, rather an old record, was a, look, it's a bit tatty, it's a bit tatty. Um, Honeybane uh, was an artist, there we go. Honeybane was an artist that released this single back in 1979. Uh, and if we look, do you know the difference between reality and fantasy? No, you don't, because you're still being influenced by Starsky and Hutch. You're still buying the Sex Pistols. You're still trying to be top dog. You say you're anarchists when you're begging the system for help and standing on the dole lines. You want to be independent. You want to be happy, but you live a life of fantasy. You can be free. The real you. You can be you. OK, so this was released. Uh, on Crass Records, number one. It was the debut release. Um, now, it's interesting because um, when it was released, Honey was 14. She was originally in a band called Fatal Microbes, uh, who released a 12-inch single with Poison Girls called Violence Grows. While Honey was on the run from social services, she collaborated um, with Crass on this single, You Can Be You. OK, so 1979. Um, after this, she did release some records on EMI. Uh, she collaborated uh, on a single called Turn Me On, Turn Me Off. Her music kind of went more new wave than punk. Um, and then in 1981, I believe it was, she was frustrated with EMI um, and she appeared in a, a film called Scrubbers, who were playing a character called Molly. Um, and uh, that, that was a film looking at a girl's ball stall. Uh, she's worked in um, other film projects and she's released an anthology CD. So this is a very, very rare uh, seven inch. And I was very excited to hear that One Little Independent Records have released a 12 inch of the track. A big piss off to the music business. Notice the difference. Pay no more than 65p, no more. OK, um, let's have a look at what it looks like. Let's take it out. I mean, I think it's amazing to have this again for the, the current audience. OK, so let's get the record out. There we are. This is the single. You can be you. The tracks are Girl on the Run, Porno Grows and Boring Conversations. OK. Now, the Crass logo was designed by a guy called Dave King. It was originally conceived for a pamphlet that Penny Rimbaud, uh, the, the drummer from Crass, uh, was writing. Um, I think the logo represents um, an amalgamation of authority. So you've got the, the church, religion, um, and also it's kind of like a dragon eating its tail. So anyway, this is it. Uh, let's see what else is in the thing. Let's get the... Uh, OK. So there you've got the lyrics uh, and some artwork there. OK, so let's have a look at the, uh, the, the people. So Honey Bane, Donna and the Kebabs. Now, interestingly, the Kebabs were the backing uh, group, which is Crass. Um, and they've changed their names. Phil Dat, P.A. Nana, Fingers Tarbuck, Pete Wong, Arthur Penny Rimbo. Um, and it was engineered by John Loder from... Um, Southern Records. So this is uh, is available uh, from One Little Independent Records. I will put it uh, the link in the description uh, so you can check it out. Um, also, interestingly, I'm going to be trying to have an interview with Honey so we can talk about this uh, this record and the original seven inch, and also find out about other stuff she's been involved in. Uh, I've also checked the channel out. Um, give us a like uh, if you're enjoying this content. Uh, I'm also going to be covering Crass in another video and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to interview Steve. Uh, he's currently on tour uh, and I will put some links in that video. So that's it, Honey Bane, you can be you. Excellent to see it again. Um, if you've liked the video, give us a like and uh, follow the channel. Thanks guys.